I went straight out of music college and two days later I got a part in Miss Saigon because I was so worried about how I was going to pay off my student fees and uh, very luckily got a job in the West End. doesn't pay that much. <laughs> But no shillings. I understand. <laughs> it was it was a time of my life. Tricky as well, though, because I think it was probably the first time I'd actually come up against how women are judged in that industry. Yeah, um, certainly my body shape. From the moment I joined that show, I was told to diet. From really, oh my god, and in the most callous and what, way. And what were you in a starring role in? in yeah, what? I was swing. I was just I was playing all sorts in that show. But I would have been ten, twelve a size 10, 12, and I remember standing next to nine other girls and being told in front of 30 guys that I had to lose weight. It was mortifying. And when you're like 21, it's, it, now I, I think you can fire any missile at me. I probably won't feel it. So, but then it was like oh, straight through the heart. That really hurts and wounds. And yeah. in fact, we saw that with Hearsay with Nigel Lithgow. Nigel um, said at the time on, on the show to Kim Marsh, after you'd come back from being Christmas, <laughs> yeah, from Christmas, a Christmas break. He said to her something like, "You know, Christmas is gone and the goose is still fat." Isn't it funny? So you could be the best singer in the world, you can be the most amazing businesswoman, you can be any of these things that people are fundamentally aim for, but it'll still, when you're a woman, come down to how you look. Yeah. Whereas with a guy, he can walk in in a shoddy outfit, or he can be whatever age plus, but no one's going to necessarily take a, a businessman down in from in in that direction. And often it's from women as opposed to from guys. 